Hey there, peace folks and dudes. Welcome back to Look How I Do Things. And I'm pretty much convinced that these videos are to show you one, the things I go through, two, for you to learn from them, and three, probably to laugh at my mistakes. I place second. I'm just going to tell you right off bat. So if you're expecting a victory, you're in the wrong place. But I started off getting both a purple suppressed and a blue hunting rifle. And I know there's a person over there, especially by the minimap there in replay mode. But again, I, I did edit this to where it's not going to be you guys sitting through the camping parts where I was scared out of my brain of whether or not there's going to be people on me. Which in most of those cases, when I look at those replays, I'm not. There's no one around me. But you don't know that in game. That's the amazing thing about replay. But I was on the hunt trying to get these ice challenges done ice event ice storm whatever we call it at this point i don't even know what they're called I, i'm not looking at my challenges right now because i'm trying to record this but it's there you guys know what challenges i mean that involve the zombies and the ice legion things like that so i was after what i call the gold boys or the goldies and trying to eliminate them because apparently you got to eliminate 20 of them and this was just a good game. That was me messing around because I did not realize there was even a button to adorn yourself and wear a snowman. I thought you could only throw them and you had to throw them on other people. But what is it with this one area? It's, it's just, just quiet. And then that popped in next to me and I'm like, oh, it's just some zombies. And then I saw the Goldie. I'm like, I have to go for it. I think I get, I think I get three this round without, I, I mean, I, I edited this before I started recording, that's just how I do. Snowmen make a great thing in a quick advance to try and stop zombies, by the way, in case you're wondering. Which, this is me doing it in solo, and I'm convinced that my blue lynx is a lucky skin, and I like wearing the birdcage, just because it's, you know, it's kind of like when a cat brings you a bird. <laughs> It just, I think it goes well together, I really do. But this was my first Goldie of the game. I was very happy to just find the one, and, well, you'll see here, I, I get more pleasantly surprised as I go on, and you can kind of see where I go with the map. You know, I get a little closer into Wailing. I had to come in here and get this rift. Now, this is where you could probably see at the bottom end, just to the right of me, if you're watching this video and looking at me in the lower left-hand corner, where I'm about to get two kills. Now, I did not know people were here. I just saw these two over here. It was just in circle. I thought, why not? Let's go ahead and farm for more zombies. And see, then I heard that. And I knew I was too far away. And I heard that. I heard somebody pull out one of their weapons. And it was on. And of course, you know me. I'm not much of a builder. I can do custom controls and do okay. But I decided to go ahead take them out what I call the old-fashioned way just wait till they screw up and <laughs> try your best to defeat them but I'm like okay well got another p90 which I did not have a shotgun I think at all in this game I, I actually took the p90 which I don't normally do that <laughs> I picked one up earlier that's why I'm not taking that one and then I noticed more people running around over there another blue lynx surprisingly and that only gave a hundred, I believe, is what that was, because I'm not very good at the headshots. And I guess they just assumed that the zombie is what got them. I'm not for sure. I, I would like to think they heard the shot. And see, I missed them that time. Then they got they got a little paranoid, so they started running away. I, I was getting <laughs> upset, so I'm like, I'm going to grenade you if I have to. <laughs> and then it hit me. Right there. <laughs> Beautiful shot. And that that's the thing is, you know, you gotta... It, I think it's called leading the target. But... And that's, that's sad that I mentioned leading the target because the Goldie is just standing there and I still missed. But, you know, a lot of people want to shoot after something, whether it's the zombies or another opponent or something like that. And that's how you waste a lot of your ammo and stuff. So, don't get me wrong, I do it too. This is not me critiquing every single Fortnite player saying you're doing it wrong. This is me saying we all do it <laughs> and admitting to it. But 
The funny part about it is if you... You gotta try and get a little bit ahead of your target so you can actually shoot them. That's the hard part about it. I learned that when I used to shoot clay pigeons in Boy Scouts. That's actually where I learned that from, where you lead the target. You gotta... Instead of following the clay pigeon with, if you don't know, is a small clay device that gets thrown out into the air and you shoot it with a shotgun. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> but I haven't done it in years. But the thing being is you gotta sit there and you you follow it and you're following behind it, you're you're never you're never gonna get the shot. You gotta lead it, so you gotta see where it's going to go, or try and predict where it's going to go, and then try and shoot. Because as as you're aiming and the thing's flying, if you're just sitting there and you're following behind, you're never gonna get it. But if you try and lead ahead, you can get it. <laughs> Little lesson about Fortnite for you. Anyway, I came over here thinking, you know, again, Paranoid Kyle, Mr. Anxiety Ridden, which I do have issues with that, whether it's in video games or life, and sit here and I thought I was being smart, thought I was hiding around, and then I jumped down here, and again, there's no one on that map, which is funny to watch now, and I was just trying to build defense build the leads, but sadly, circle moved, and I had to move to this little shed over here near Paradise, which I do hit up a lot, but I decided to camp here for a bit. I decided to jump up on the fridge and hang out and chill, you could say, pun intended. But I sat there for a long, long time. Now see, there's that other guy, the pink arrow. I didn't know where that rocket came from. I could see rockets being flung. I think he shoots another one. I think. But I, I could see it just through the slats, that first one, and I didn't know where that was coming from. Now, I didn't notice it in-game, but as I come up over this hill, there's a bush to my left over here as soon as I turn. Right there, and I didn't see the, the top of that guy's head. And he just comes out kneeling, squatting, trying to shoot at me. So I went ahead and took advantage of the situation, and I sat there and got him. And then, of course, I'm fighting zombies just to get a shield pot, because he, he did get a good hit on me. He got me down to 50, and I didn't notice uh, till the replay, but there's also another person over there running in, and you can actually see them on the minimap if you look up in that, well, that corner. Sorry, it's it's mirrored for me. I'm, I'm disco dancing over here. But I, I was just trying to hide, trying to heal up, shield up. He was actually watching me to see if the zombies would get me or somebody else would get me. And I was just trying to hide in this house. I figured, okay, zombies aren't going to follow me directly through all the open areas. They're just going to keep coming straight at me, which I'm glad. I'm glad they did not put z smart zombies in the game. And I'm probably one of the only people, which I under I understand the arguments of why zombies aren't good and why it's a problem and why it's an issue and they're annoying. I, I understand. I'm just saying as a, a zombie fan and person who likes zombies, I like it. And then there's this guy. Now, initially, I saw him, shot him a couple times. He had the Goldie running after him. Wasn't even aware. Was not even aware. And he was in there, but I just couldn't tell where. So I went ahead, trapped it up, and I focused, actually, on the Gold Boy, because I figured if I, if I die now, at least I got part of the challenge done again. And, of course, you know, these, these are like mini-bosses that have a health bar. I didn't realize the uh, other person was so far in that other circle over there, but I just took care of him, and you'll see soon how I got how I decided to get second place because I, I my mind fumbled, and of course, right there is the trap. <laughs> got him. That's what got me second. Why I went with a a friggin' shield potion, I don't know. I should have went for bandages or that rift, but that's how, how you get second place, folks. So I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And as usual, peeps, looks, and dudes, stay awesome. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.